Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in 2 Minutes. Today we're going to be covering a new feature in Tableau 2018.3 that is the ability to dynamically add and remove items from a set um, and how you can use this in a visualization. So previously you had to uh, define a set by going to uh, just create a new, or sorry, right clicking on the field and then creating a new set. So if we wanted to uh, create a new set out of product subcategory. Um, this is all part of the uh, the Superstore sample data set that you should have in uh, in Tableau. If we wanted to create a set, we right click on subcategory, we go down here to set, um, and then we would be able to add and remove items from a set as we wanted to. Say we just wanted these top few things in our set, um, and then we'd have created our set. However, on the uh, 2018.3, you can add and remove items dynamically. So how would you use this in a visualization? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create two different visualizations. One is gonna be a time series using the order date on the columns shelf, and then we're gonna drag out sales here. We're gonna just expand this so we get a nice monthly piece. And then I'm gonna turn this into a bar graph and you're gonna see why in just a second. So I've gone ahead and turned that into a, a nice looking bar graph here for us with, uh, this is just the sales over time. So the sales by month um, for 2014 through 2017. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a slightly different view of this. So we're gonna take region out to our rows shelf with our four regions here. Then we're gonna add quantity. So this is the total units sold. We're gonna add the sum of quantity to these regions and then Using region up here, we're gonna go ahead and create ourselves a set. We're gonna call this the region set. We're just gonna leave it empty for the moment. Where the real power of this comes in is when we go ahead and create a dashboard and then drag out both of our two sheets here. So I'm gonna take our time series. I'm just gonna put that all the way along the bottom here. I'm gonna take our region and I'm gonna drag it out here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this region to change what is in this graph at the bottom and show us what proportion each region contributed to the total sales for that particular month. So we're gonna to have to pop back to our time series graph here. We're gonna take this region set and we're gonna drag it out onto color. And you'll see that at the moment, there's nothing in the set. So everything looks gray. That's okay. What we're gonna to do to add items to the set is we're gonna go up here to dashboard. We're gonna create a new action. We're gonna add change set values. We want this to be driven by sheet two. We want it to act on sheet one. And then we're gonna use the region set. So this tells us which data source, this top box. So we're gonna pick our orders um, and then we want the region set. What we want to do is that when we clear the selection, we want to remove all of the values from the set. What this will do is it will mean that when we click on a region, it will highlight it in the graph below. When we unclick it, it's going to take it out of the graph below. So we're going to get, go back to our, our sort of default gray color. So having done that, should be able to see when we click on an item and then click on set one, you can see how it's changing the graph below. Now, there's a couple of things I don't particularly like about this. The first one is that the default behavior actually has, as you'll see, we have to click on something within the tooltip to do that. I'm not a big fan of that, so we'll change that in a second. The second thing that I'm not a big fan of is that whenever we highlight these uh, multiple things, again, um, they show up at the top. They don't show up at the bottom. What I wanna see is I wanna see my set at the bottom and my set at the top. So I'm just gonna leave these highlighted for a second. And we're gonna go in here and all we're gonna to do to change where the blue appears relative to the gray is we're just gonna sort it the other way. Where should I have to click? It starts off ascending, click descending, click ascending. And now you'll see that what is in the set, which is the blue bar shows up at the bottom and what's out of the set shows up at the top. I think that's a lot more intuitive. While we're here, since we are here, let's go ahead and add a label to sales. There you go, that's just gonna tell us what the, what the total sales was. 
um, and then we'll jump back over here and to change the way the set action works again so we just clicked out and there's nothing highlighted we're going to go back to our dashboard and our actions I'm going to click edit on this set action here and then instead of run action on menu we're going to run action on select I'm going to go back down here and remove all values from the set when we clear the selection so right now we have an empty set as we add values to the set, you'll see that the numbers change. So if we wanted all the numbers, there you go, there's all the numbers. If we wanted just south and west, you can select just south and west. South and east, you can select just south and east. Um, and you can see that the numbers will change dynamically too. So every time we click on one of these sets, we get a number both for what's in the set and what's left, what's outside the set. So that's a little introduction into how you can use dynamic sets within your visualizations. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like what you hear, then go ahead and hit subscribe for more Tableau tips and tricks. And as always, there's a link to the data set and to the workbook uh, in the video description. And uh, we will see you next time.